another video. My name is Layton. If you're new here, I'm so glad to have you. So today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through a typical shift in the NICU. And yeah, it's gonna be kind of vlog style. I still like vlogged my day, but I wanted to also explain more in depth like what a typical shift looks like and just kind of go into more detail with all of that. So I think it would be pretty interesting. And if I was interested in NICU, I would love to hear somebody explain something like this. But yes, a little background. If you're new here, my name's Layton. I'm a NICU nurse, a neonatal ICU nurse or neonatal intensive care unit nurse. So that's where I work. I've been working there for about two and a half years, which is crazy to say. It's flown by, but also kind of gone by slow at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. Currently I'm PRN, and then I also work part-time as an NBA dancer for the Memphis Grizzlies. I started out full-time, of course, which is three 12-hour shifts a week. Now I'm PRN, and that's just a minimum of at least two shifts a month, or one shift a pay period. So yeah, and there's day shift and night shift, seven to seven. I currently do day shifts. Every now and then I might randomly do a night shift if I get incentive pay or something or crisis pay, but for the most part, I do day shift. So let's get into it. I'm gonna kind of narrate my shift now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another video. Oh my gosh, it is so dark. I am currently on my way to work, on my way to work a shift in the NICU. And as you can see, it's pitch black outside. I'm sad, this is my first time going to work with it being like pitch black on the way there which i hate <laughs> but it's fine because we're only working one shift today i have to clock in by 6 45 so that's around when i get to work i go to my locker put up my stuff maybe put my energy drink or lunch in the fridge in the break room and then i grab my little notebook and pins then I clean my hands and my arms before entering the unit and I look to see what my assignment is. I grab my little piece of paper and I fold it, which you'll probably see in the video. And then I'll look at assignments and write down my patient's names. And then we do nurse huddle, obviously. Then I go and I get report. Our unit has intensive care and intermediate care. So it's overall, it's an open unit, it's ICU, but there's like one side where the acuity of care is higher and um, then there's another side that it's not as intense and more intermediate care. ICU is when there's gonna be some type of respiratory stuff going on. So they're gonna be on oxygen, intubated, on the ventilator, all of that. So yeah, my assignment on this specific day, I had three IMC or intermediate care babies and then I was a second IMC admission. So usually, you know, you'll get your assignment and on your assignment, it'll say what admission you are and then and what your call time is. Call time is what time of the shift it's your turn to go down on a delivery if they call up. So today I was a second IMC or transition admission and my call time was nine to 10. So if labor and delivery called up for any reason from nine to 10, I would be the nurse to go down on that delivery. Today I did not have to go down on delivery, but yeah, that's what that means. So anyway, I get my report and then I sit at my computer, I clean everything off, clean my spot, get my stuff organized, clean everything. And then I will organize my notes for the day. I like to draw some lines and organize my own little boxes to make a note section for each assessment I do and all of that. So then I will check my orders. I go into the chart for each patient and I just double check everything that I got for report. I might calculate out some things to double check them and just check all the orders, make sure everything is accurate. And I will underline certain things like what their feedings are to make sure I know what I'm gonna get for feedings. And yeah, just make sure I know what's going on with my patients. Okay, now I wanna take a little break to talk about the sponsor for today's video, which is Incredible Health, which is very fitting for this video because I'm sure if you click this video, you probably have some interest in NICU nursing, whether you want to become a NICU nurse or are looking for a new a nursing job, whether you are a nursing student still, a new grad nurse or a seasoned nurse looking for 
a job in the NICU or really just any new nursing job, Incredible Health is perfect for you because they're a platform that helps new and experienced RNs or NPs get staff jobs in 20 days or less by matching them to the right role at the right hospital. It's 100% free, which we love, and it's super easy and convenient because all nurses have to do is create one profile and then Incredible Health does all the rest of the work from scheduling interviews, updating your resume, and finding the right hospital and the right unit that it will be the best match for you. And then something else I think is really cool is you get the support of active RNs that can help walk you through the process. So there's like a place where you can ask questions and get advice and there's people there to walk you and guide you through it, which is so helpful. And I really wish I knew about this when I was a new grad applying for jobs because I was so lost during the process and felt super overwhelmed and would have really benefited from some guidance. So take advantage of that because it can be an overwhelming process, honestly. But Incredible Health makes it really simple. So if you're trying to find your ideal nursing job, definitely check out Incredible Health because it's the fastest way to get hired in a staff role specific to your experience and desired location. So be sure to check out the link in the description. So typically babies are on two types of schedules in the NICU. They're either Q3 hours, so every three hours or every four hours, depending on what their specific feeding schedule is. We do their assessments with their feedings. This day I had two babies that were Q3 babies and one baby that was a Q4 baby. So the Q3 babies we do eight, 11, two, and five and Q4, 8, 12, and 4. Sometimes 9, 1, and 5, but I typically like to do them 8, 12, and 4. So at this point, after I check my orders and everything, I go ahead and get all the supplies I need and stuff, stock up, and start warming up any milk. If they are on breast milk, I scan the breast milk and put the breast milk in the warmer. If they have any eight o'clock meds, I go ahead and double check those and scan those and get those ready. And then I get started on my eight o'clock. So I do my babies, I do their big eight o'clock assessments and then feed them. Today, all my babies were just bolus feeds through the feeding tube over the pump, not from a bottle. So it was less time consuming. So I did all their assessments and everything and I write the stuff down. I need to remember to chart. Then once I finish my eight o'clocks, I chart them. I like to stay as caught up on charting as I can. You just never know when things are gonna go crazy and you're gonna get crazy behind. So as soon as I finish my assessments, I wanna go knock out the charting, especially eight o'clock, because those are the most tedious assessments and the most stuff that you have to chart in the beginning. Today, luckily, I got done quickly. I was really caught up in my charting. And then some typical things I might do, like I think today I was kind of changing out some blankets to clean blankets, getting a new snuggle up to wrap the babies in, just kind of cleaning them up and getting things switched out. At this point, our charge nurse had already come up to me and was like, oh, you're probably going to be getting a baby because we have a lot of diabetic moms downstairs in labor and delivery. And if they're diabetic on insulin and all that, the baby has to come up at least for a little bit. We didn't have any new beds in the clean room. So I got a bed out of the dirty room and wiped it down and cleaned it myself. Added blankets and stocked the drawers with basic stuff. So got that set up around nine is when the doctors start rounding, but they start in ICU and they go around. So since I was an IMC, also today they took so long to round so they literally didn't get to my area till like noon but usually they round around from like 9 to 11 and they come around with the whole team of doctors attending and residents and they talk about your baby talk about the plan of care what they're going to change new order so it's always important to listen to that so you know what's going on this does happen during day shifts i i like it i like to be in the know with the plan of care and know what's going on so that happened today around 12 which was super late but yes that's Typically when rounds happen is sometime in the morning in between your first and second assessment. And it's also nice too, so if you have any questions about something or orders after eight o'clock, you can bring it up during rounds and get that figured out. And the next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock and I usually will start 30 minutes before the hour to start my stuff. So like I typically would like to start at 7.30 and then 10.30 just to stay on top of things and not get behind. So I started around like 10.45 though because my Q4 baby was a little bit later. I started around 10.45. I did my 8, 11, 2, and 5 babies for 11 o'clock. This assessment is less intense. Typically, it's just a diaper change and another visual assessment, you know, as you're changing their diaper and then feeding again. So 11 o'clock are usually pretty straightforward and then 
chart those and then today i went to eat lunch around 12 15. i usually eat lunch in the break room but sometimes on the weekends i like to go down to the cafeteria because it's pretty empty and chill and quiet in the weekends in the cafeteria and it's nice because we have huge windows and i really like to go sit by the window and get exposed to some sunlight and just escape the unit for a minute so that's what i did today and then i went back in and just kind of chilled for a minute before it was time for my two o'clock and then two o'clock is our other bigger assessment but for imc babies it's really just kind of the same thing you don't have to get temperature again you don't have to get blood pressure again i listen to them by eight o'clock but for imc for two o'clock i don't listen again um but we do for icu so of course i just kind of Use your discretion depending on the patient and what you need to assess. So yeah, did my two o'clocks, fed those babies again, charted, changed out some outfits, this and that. Because my assignment was a little simpler today in IMC, there was just kind of like less complicated things going on, which honestly, I like. I like the more stress-free, chill day. I don't really like the crazy stuff going on. It makes me anxious, so. Then typically after two o'clocks, if it's a good day, you really kind of have a nice little break before the last assessment at five o'clock. So this is when I usually save my afternoon caffeine. So I charted my stuff and then I went and I got my energy drink from the fridge in the break room and I drank my energy drink just to give myself a caffeine boost to get me through the rest of the shift. And then after that, before I knew it, it was time for the last feeding and assessment of the day, which was four slash five o'clock for these babies. So I did their last diaper change and assessment and feeding and charted and got caught up on everything. And then one of my babies, they stopped fluids in order to discontinue the pick line. So then I had to do the whole pick line removal. So that was something that I had to do on one of my babies. And then the charge nurse told me that I needed to move one of my babies up to a different floor it's still part of our NICU but it's like a special care nursery unit so it's it's still part of the unit but it's on a different floor and like a separate nursery on a different floor um and typically we move babies up here that are getting closer to going home these are more stable babies up there I got this all this baby stuff together and packed up and I rolled the baby up to this floor after that I have to clean the space and get it ready for a new baby then after that I finished all my stuff I got caught up and then the night shift got there so I gave report on my three babies luckily it was a pretty easy report because the nurses for two of my babies were back so I was able just to give simple updates for them I did have to give a new report for the baby I took upstairs because that baby was of course gonna have a new nurse now but was able to leave quite early and on time which is so great not every shift goes like this let me tell you it can be so so crazy and stressful but today was a very nice day it's like when this happens you just really have to soak it in so that's typically what a shift looks like a lot of times a lot of time and energy can be spent towards helping parents as well and all that getting the babies out for the parents to hold and this and that but i didn't have any parents visit today um one mom called and so i gave her the update about that hey everyone i just got home from my shift and it feels so good to be home i actually had such a good assignment i was so grateful i was like whenever that happens you just really gotta soak it in I was a second IMC admission and we did get one IMC admission around like one o'clock and I was really expecting to get a baby but luckily none of those moms ended up delivering yet so I didn't get an admission and yeah it was a good shift but I'm not gonna lie I'm very glad I'll have to go back tomorrow for dinner I'm just warming up some of these leftovers this is funny because this is exactly what I made in my last vlog I think but that was actually like a month ago so I really haven't had this in a while and what happened I think was when I was editing that video it made me crave it again and so I was like I have to make that again it was so good so I made it yesterday now I have like my leftover little meal prep container so I'm about to eat this and watch some Love Island but that'll be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one let me know if you have any specific questions about anything I hope this helped I hope you found this interesting let me know what else you want to know and what other videos you want to see thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.